Hello everyone. I'd like to make this an introduction to my book. Now I'm going to give a short synopsis of each section of the book and then you can decide if you want to buy it or not. The first section is an introduction to the book. The second section is an argument that God created all information. The third section is that humans bear the image of God. The fourth section is what humans create is in God's image. And finally, I reflect on Christianity as a whole. So let me go through these different sections. First, in the introduction, I give an introduction of who I am and how I think. I say I'm a deep thinker. I often think so intensely that it causes me sweet problems and other problems for me. And I also talk about theories, the importance of theories, why theories help govern our life, how they direct us and give us meaning. The second section is more or less that if God did not create all that I know in the world, including the galaxies, the moving bodies of stars, uh, earth, uh, life on this planet, and atoms, then nothing is divine. And I also talk about if God created these entities, then that means that God has a purpose for them. One of those purposes is for him to create people for himself, and his kindness and wrath is an integral part of that. The third section is that we, as humans, bear the image of God. We are made of different parts as humans. From the spiritual side of us to our behaviors, these are all integral things that make us human. Part of being human is how we relate to God. We do have some choices in this matter, but it must align with the given nature that we acquire at birth, and only then do we react to the gospel message instead of reaching out for it for ourselves. I also talk about my own story here of how my faith was confirmed and I had a pantheistic type of belief system at the time, but God changed all that. I also talk about some of the challenges that I had with this experience. In the fourth section, I talk about what humans create is in God's image. We must never forget that God is ultimately in control. He picks and chooses who he wants to do and what. Our behavior is meaningful when we find freedom in Christ. This freedom or free will is based on our orientation towards truth. When we operate in the truth, we are exercising our full potential of free will. We must practice to notice what is happening in us and our environment. And there are false churches and false converts. Some of them are strongly anti-biblical, yet call themselves Christians. Yet there is a path of salvation for all. All you must do is follow Christ. In the final section of the book, I reflect on Christianity as a whole. I say there are many different traditions of Christianity. A lot of it is merely what I call cultural Christianity. It's not that people even know what they're signing up for when they call themselves Christians. They just think being a Christian is in some way a way to identify. It has no meaning for your life. Yet there is a way to be saved. It requires humility. It requires that you come before God the Father and realize your need for the Savior that is Jesus Christ. And with that, you believe that the Holy Spirit enters you and empowers you for good works. In conclusion, this is just a rough sketch of what I have in the book. If you are interested, you can join me on this journey when the book comes out and you can purchase it. Thank you and goodbye.